I see bugs so ugly, I wish they could be made back into cows. Awful. There is no need for that. But today, this. Hi everyone. Today I will teach you how beautiful, simple design can be. A simple bag to carry your stuff around. I will use it to keep my chest set inside, see? Because today you have to play chess to be cool. Thank you, Netflix. Next, a short clip where I show you how to print the pattern, punch the stitching holes, and cut the leather you need to make this. Before you start your project, consider very carefully what leather you will be using. Once you've decided on the leather you're gonna be using, go ahead and open your pattern files using Adobe Reader. Free to use, free to download, and make sure actual size is checked. The first page of any pattern will contain a sizing diagram. This will help you make sure that the proportions are okay. And you have measurements in both centimeters and inches, all right? Now you can go ahead and cut all the patterns out of the leather. At this stage, you don't really have to cut precisely on the black line. You can leave a little bit off. After you have all the pieces cut out of the paper, you can go ahead and attach them to the leather you're gonna be using. For this, I recommend you use regular masking tape you can find at any hardware store. Now it's time to punch every single stitching hole. Be patient, do not rush at this stage because it will determine how straight your stitching will be later. I use 1.5 round millimeter hole puncher. A link to this particular tool and other recommended tools I use on a daily basis in the video description. Once you finish punching all 20 holes, you can go ahead and cut the leather. Once more, take your time. Be very, very careful when you're cutting the leather because any slip, any wrong cut can ruin your whole piece. Now repeat the same process to punch and cut out every other piece needed for uh, your design. Let's start by connecting these two pieces here with a simple saddle stitch. This is a four ounces chromed tanned leather and the thread I used is one millimeter thick.
to close the stitching line, trim the ends short and uh, melt them off with a lighter. Now stitch the other two ends to form a closed loop like I have here. Do the same with this bottom piece here, which is uh, six ounces of vegetable tan leather. Next, we stitch the top to the bottom around this line here. Find the middle of this piece here and attach it to the bottom from here because simple design and symmetry work best together. You should now be looking at the main body of the bag. Next, we will make the top and the bottom. Now, the top will feature a zipper about 28 centimeters long. Yes, I use the metric system. I don't care. You want to know how long 28 centimeters is? 
Google it. Most likely you're gonna find a longer zipper and uh, I will show you how to trim it to the exact size next. Now see what I did there. I used my lighter to melt the ends where I cut the zipper so they don't come undone later. I know what you're thinking. Before we stitch the zipper through this leather piece, let's use some glue to stick it in place. You like that syringe trick, right? Of course you did, because up until now, you used all kind of wrong tools to apply glue, and you made a mess everywhere, your hands included. But uh, now you know. Next, punch the stitching holes into the zipper. If you think this is necessary, you're wrong. When you pierce the fabric, you will pull the thread and create waves and ripples to your zipper. But um, not if you use this method. Now you can stitch the zipper to the leather. Try not to pull the thread tighter than you have to, to avoid those waves I was talking about earlier.
Look at that. You've stitched a straight zipper for the first time ever. And now you feel overcome with a gratitude. Luckily, I'm here to help. Find that donate button and, you know, share your wealth. Because making the best leatherworking tutorials on YouTube is kind of expensive. What? You're poor? Not for long, because you're going to make a few of these and sell them to your friends. Till then, like this video and subscribe to our channel. That's free. Go, do it. I'll even pause the video for you. Done? Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's continue. Once the zipper is attached, we need to stitch it to the top of the bag. Now, pay close attention, because this is gonna get a little bit tricky. So feel free to play this back a few times if you need to.
Okay, that's the top done. Now leave the bag on the side a little bit and uh, let's take care of that bottom. If you are using a vegetable tanned leather like I do, it will be easier to wet and shape this piece with your fingers like I do. Next, stitch this long strip on its edge and uh, form a loop like I do here. Now stitch it around the piece you shaped before. Make sure you attach it with the flesh side on the outside. Time to marry these two together. Try and center them perfectly or else you're gonna get a crooked bag. Nobody likes that.
once you find the center align it to the holes and use some paper clips to hold it in place now you can stitch the two all the way around After you're done with this last stitch, you might want to take a little bit of time to sand the edge and uh, burnish it to a smooth surface, just like I have here. Rub some uh, leather bun on it and give it a shine and protection from moisture and you're gonna have a bag that will outlast everything you will put inside of it. At least this one will. Well, this was it. Thank you so much for watching and stay close. There is a large tote bag matching this bag coming next. And if you don't want to miss out on that tutorial, make sure you subscribe to my channel before you go away. Peace.